Yeah, good morning, guys. So we are at McKinley Park. This is just steps away from the Coast Guard Academy, and we are seeing a protest out here, pretty sizable protest at this point since we last checked in. So what's going on here behind us? This is all in relation to the conflict between Israel and Palestine. People out here you can see with signs calling to free Palestine. They've got flags as well. A lot of action. We've got somebody speaking right now as well, hoping to get the president's attention during this visit. And here to talk more about what's going on, give us some more context, is Khaled. He's with the Palestine National Council. Khaled, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Tell us why this was organized 12 hours ago. This was organized. What's going on here? This is uh, a show of support for our people in Palestine uh, against the aggression, the Israeli aggression on Jerusalem and on Gaza. Uh, and we wanted to uh, give, we wanted the president to, to give us the attention and try to do something about this. We wanted to get that president's attention on this, on the issue of Palestine. And we do know the president does support a ceasefire. He has not demanded it at this point. He also says Israel has a right to defend itself. What's your message to the president? What action are you hoping that the country takes on this? Well, uh, it's, it's an actual occupation of Palestine. Palestine is under the Israeli occupation. This is recognized by the United Nations. Everybody has the right to resist occupation. So if the president wants a real peace, he has to call the Israelis to stop the aggression uh, in Gaza and in Jerusalem and call for a real ceasefire followed by a real negotiation that will lead to uh, a peaceful solution between us and the Israelis based on the 242 resolution by the United Nations, which calls for the two-state solution, one for the Israelis, one for the Palestinians on the West Bank and Gaza Strip with East Jerusalem at, as its capital. And you've mentioned that you've been in touch with the president, I believe, on this issue and other key players. What have those conversations look like? Well, the president, wanted, the president of Palestine and the prime minister of Palestine wanted us to convey our position, the leadership position. Uh, the leadership position comes from the uh, people's position in Palestine. The whole Palestinians call for this position stand on this position that we want an independent Palestinian state on the West Bank and Gaza Strip and East Jerusalem as its capital. Without this, there will never be a real peace. And the President of the United States has to understand this. The whole world has to understand this. This thing will, will, will happen again, even if we have a ceasefire. So we have to go to the roots of the problem, which is occupation. End the occupation, then the resistance will end. Then we'll have a peaceful solution. Occupation, occupation, occupation is the roots, are the roots of the problem. And the plan for today for this group, how long do you guys expect to be out here for? As long as it takes, uh, until the cops uh, kick us out, uh, say you have to leave. Uh, we have nothing to do but stand with our country and we have to show our support. So we're here. Yeah. So we're going to be keeping a close eye on this situation out here. Everything is very peaceful out here. We've got somebody talking right now again, as you can see, people holding signs with the flags. A very sizable police presence out here as well. We've got police officers on both sides of this. But again, very peaceful out here. We'll keep you updated throughout the morning and the day. But for now, reporting live outside the Coast Guard Academy, I'm Angelo Bavaro.